Routes law is a mathematical relationship that allows us to relate between the composition in a liquid phase for a particular component and its composition in the vapor phase. Oftentimes I'll, I'll abbreviate this as LVE or VLE, standing for either liquid vapor or vapor liquid equilibrium. Now Routes law comes out of thermodynamics and mathematically we can write it as the mole fraction of I in the liquid phase times by its vapor pressure, which is pi star, is equal to the mole fraction in the vapor phase times by the system pressure, and we can also write this as the partial pressure. So annotating this a little bit, this is the liquid mole fraction. P of I star is the vapor pressure. Yi is the vapor mole fraction. P is the system pressure. And we can write this as partial pressure. So when we deal with multi-component systems, in this case a liquid vapor equilibrium system, uh, generally we will write Xi as equal to referring to the liquid mole fraction. Now in the past when dealing with single component systems or single phase systems, sometimes Xi refers to the mass fraction, but when dealing with uh, multi-component equilibrium, uh, we will always be working in units of mole fraction. Likewise, Yi will always refer to the vapor phase. Again, previously Yi may have referred to the mole fraction, but again in liquid vapor equilibrium it refers to the mole fraction of the vapor phase. And then I'll also use the no notation that Z of I is the total, so this is going to be liquid and vapor mole fraction. So if we were to look at a system, we have a container here where we could have a liquid A and B, for example, this could be a water ethanol mixture or a water isopropyl mixture or any series of two miscible liquids. Uh, if both of these liquids uh, have some degree of volatility, where, which means they can uh, evaporate, we will also have A and B in the vapor phase. So in the vapor phase composition we will have YA and YB and in the liquid phase we'll have XA and XB. So in this two component system we're going to need two Routes laws. one for each species. So for A, we would write this as X A P A star. And for B, X B P B star is equal to Y B P. Now often we'll write P, uh, the vapor pressure, with a T here in front of it, that's just to signify that the vapor pressure is a very strong function of temperature and it's there sort of as a reminder. Uh, so even though we don't see temperature in this expression, it really is um, involved in the process and it's there hidden uh, inside of the vapor pressure. So in order to determine what the composition of the liquid phase and the vapor phase is, we need to make sure that these are solved simultaneously. Now one simplification to Routes law is with one condensable component. Now this could be a system, most commonly uh, humidity, where we could have pure water and then we have water vapor and air. Now in this circumstance we would have mole fraction of water in the air and this is the humidity that you and I all experience, and we would have a mole fraction of the air. But if we assume that there's a very, very small amount of air that's going to dissolve into the water liquid phase, we can approximate the mole fraction of water as equal to one. So if we were to write out Routes law for water in this circumstance, we would have X H2O P star H2O, that's the vapor pressure of water, is equal to the mole fraction 
in the vapor phase times by the system pressure. But recall that we're going to approximate this as 1 so that we can write that the mole fraction of water in the vapor phase is going to be equal to the vapor pressure divided by the total system pressure. So if you needed to uh, determine uh, what the concentration of water was in a humid stream, uh, we could use Routes Law as a starting point. So this Routes Law gives us the fully saturated concentration. So for example, it's a, if it's a particularly humid day, that means that the amount of water in the air is going to be very close uh, to the fully saturated value predicted by Routes Law. So just because uh, we can have a certain amount of water uh, evaporated and in the air phase, it doesn't necessarily mean that we are going to have that much. And so we'll talk a little bit more about different ways to measure humidity, uh, fully saturated versus partially saturated, uh, in a different video. Uh, but this just serves as an introduction to Routes Law um, and where it is used.